What's up, guys? It's your boy once again with another episode of Fullery. Okay, so we're going to jump on on this <laughs> this crazy Christian, this um, out of this world. Uh, you know, like guys, we call them Bible thumpers or... Uh, Holy Rollers and all this stuff. So we're going to jump on this girl here who came on the um, No Fugazi podcast. And, you know, of course, they come on this panel. He has, like most people, you know, girls lined up. They asking them questions about themselves and this and that. And this one goes in a totally opposite direction. Nothing you would ever think of. You saw the thumbnail, right? Okay. So the focus is on the girl with the raccoon hat. That's it. Now, I ain't going to tell you no more because I don't want you to, you know, misunderstand this thing or miss it. So make sure y'all go ahead, hit that subscribe, like, share, and definitely turn on your notifications because I got a couple more of these crazy ones coming up next week and the week after and so on and so on. So no further ado, let's get it. The stinky, stinky Christian. Man. We get into that a little bit more. We get into that a little bit more. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead with your questions. Ease. What do you do for all of it? I'm a stripper. Okay. Hallelujah. We got <laughs> Magdalene in the room. <laughs> all right, all right. And yourself? Uh, name, age, and where you from? Can you speak in the mic? Yes, uh, my name uh, is Come uh, a little closer Jean. to the mic. My middle name is Patience. There you go. And basically, I'm from Southern California, born and raised. Up until I was about 15 years old, I moved to the East Coast. Okay. Um, any relationship status? Yes, uh, I was dating somebody whose name uh, Sincere Cruz, and it was just for about four years that I was dating him, and then basically I moved government on. out there. Sincere right. Cruz, dang! Oh man, what if he's watching this. <laughs> okay, yeah. he's been single on. now for about four months. It's crazy that she said his full name. You know, a lot of times I see stuff like this. They trying to call. She still probably got feelings about the guy but trying to call him out personally about anything. So you use the full name so people look him up, Google him, whatever. Because I was trying to figure out who this dude is. I don't know. But to put his full name out there, hmm, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Well, okay. And what do you do for a living? Yes, uh, I do a majority of things. I, I'm a cosmetologist. Uh, I also do barber work. I do apprentice work at a tattoo shop, basically. Okay, you can go with your question. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I do a little hip-hop dancing on the side. So that's about it. Um, Not, none special here. Um, Ain't so none to see. How, how, long, how long have you been single for? Four months. Okay. And a fun fact about yourself. Oh, one Basically, second. Yeah, like uh, with you chess. and um, Sincere Cruz, you said you've been single for four months. Who broke up with who? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, I broke up with him because he didn't want to get married. And, you know, I live in a very conservative, strict background in my family. And they just weren't going to allow me to date him for so long. And I agreed. I agreed with my parents. I think that in Proverbs, it says that we ought to listen to the instruction of a mother. And we ought to love when we uh, get disciplined by our father. So at the end of the day, I moved on. Got it. And y'all was in that relationship, you said, for like six months, right? I said four years. And then basically now I've been single, single for four, six months. Four, so months. four years. So out of the four years that y'all been together, have y'all, did y'all have Absolutely, we did. Okay. Plenty, plenty, so what plenty were you of time. Conserving? Conservatives and mm -hmm. the biblical right. book tells you not to have sex before marriage. So if you had with a man and then you're expecting marriage from him but he wouldn't marry you wouldn't you say that you're doing something wrong because you give out sex. if you don't give out sex, obviously we would say that guy is doing something wrong because he can't get sex from you you don't want to have sex with him he didn't want to marry you so my question for you is what were you doing wrong so basically, I think I was placed more as like a sidekick, like a concubine. And, you know, Solomon in the scriptures, it does say that Solomon had concubines and he had 400 wives. So basically, you was Sincere Cruz's side chick. And you gave him an ultimatum to marry you. And he said, 
Basically, that's what happened. The side chick tried to step up and got put out. You're a concubine. That's all those are. Just side chicks, sex objects, sex pieces, whatever you want to call them. You're there for pleasure. That's it. And that was it. And then you saw this biblical stuff. So you're saying that um, sincere crews have 400 wives? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's polygamy at the end of the day. But he had other girls? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Did he want to marry one of those other girls? Yeah, he actually did marry Ariana. Oh, yeah, so you're just man. one of the girls. Names. You're one of the girls that didn't qualify for a ring. Right. Correct. I was wearing a dress, so I Got didn't it. qualify. Fair. Now, does anybody understand that reference? She was wearing a dress, so she didn't qualify. I did not catch that. I do not understand what she meant by that. I was wearing a dress, so I didn't qualify. But he married this chick, Ariana. Is something biblical that I'm missing here? I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you for your honesty. Any other questions? No, no questions. Uh, you want to go with fun fact and stuff? Oh, or? yeah. Fun fact about yourself? I like to play chess. Okay. I like one-on-one -on -one with women. I used to play with uh, my aunt Noemi, and her and I were both women, and we were playing, and we were moving the chess pieces, and I think that a lot of people got threatened by this situation is all. Okay. okay. Let me ask, what's Makes on your no head? Sense. What is, is that? Uh, oh, it's just a scarf that I wear during out the winter time is all. Dang, it's September. I don't think it's winter. It ain't no snowing. It ain't snowing. <laughs> yeah, but I do love this scarf. That thing looks, it looks like it stinks. I ain't gonna lie. It looks dirty. It looks worn. Like she's had it for a while, and it looks like it may smell. It just doesn't look clean. I mean, she really don't look clean, but it doesn't look like it's clean. I'm just gonna be honest. And it's September, and you got that thing on. Ah. You know, I, I uh, paid a high price for it, you know, just like in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, <laughs> where it talks about how the Apostle Paul warned the Corinthians about, be careful, because Jesus paid a high price for you, so your body matters. Got Dedicate you. your body to Christ is all. Why did you, you got that? you? Why yeah, did you? I think you, you would have had a better experience if you would have followed the book from the core, since you know a lot. If you would have dedicated right. your body to Christ and not let sincere crews clap cheeks. Meanwhile, he's having sex with other girls. You definitely would have had a better experience. Not only that, you would have been able to discern the red flags within them. Yeah, I agree with you. Agree with that? I agree with you one hundred percent. Uh, let's move it right along. Go ahead, East. Yeah, name, age, and where you're from, and your relationship status. You want to move right along? Yeah. Um, name, age, where you're from? Um, my name is Shazman. I'm from Allentown. Mm -hmm. um, I will. I am 29, mm -hmm. and I'm in a relationship. You in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Okay. How long you guys it's been like together? Like she didn't want to say it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, three years. Three years. Good. 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 Why well, um, she didn't want to do for a living? I'm a stay-at-home mom. Okay. And um, fun fact about yourself. Mm. It could be anything. I'm toxic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun fact. You toxic? What's your toxic trait? Oh, the first you hit a trait. He did say fun fact. Now, has anyone else <laughs> dealt with someone that's toxic felt that it was fun? I know some of you crazy people, y'all like that violent stuff, but. For her to say she's toxic and not getting counseling for it is crazy. But a lot of these women come on here. If you listen to them talk, man, you're going to hear some toxic stuff. All of them pretty much has some toxic stuff going on, except like these other girls. I had to cut through a lot of it to get to the raccoon hat. So the other girls, they was real boring. So I didn't bother to leave that in there. So we can get to this one here. This is the main chick. Y'all need to focus on. The other ones, they lead up to the crazy chick. All right? So that's where we at. I'll tell you to go clean something, and if you don't clean it the way I like to clean it, I have to re-clean it. You a woman. Why are you not cleaning? Who you telling to go clean? You tell your man to go clean stuff? You Everybody. at home all day. What do you Why mean? You out your mind. Wait. You tell your man, hey, go clean this. No, go no, clean no, the dishes. No, 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 no. 
he will clean something or yeah. the kids will clean something. And if I don't like the way they clean it, I have to re-clean it. And then I'm cussing well, everybody about, out. Like in a relationship. Oh, in a relationship? So I'm speaking about oh, your so man. Oh, just about him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Out no, What's your no, toxic I don't trait expect like him to clean anything. But if he does and I don't like the way he cleans it, I'm going to be bitching. Why, Excuse me. Why don't you just go ahead and look clean at, it if he don't do it right? Hold on. Y'all, look at this. Look at this crazy chick here. I want y'all to see this. She just pull out some candy while they talking. A big pack of candy and start eating it. What? I have to re-clean it and then I'm cussing everybody out. What are we talking about like in a relationship? <laughs> oh, a relationship? So I'm speaking about oh, your so man. Oh, just about him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that. She just pulled out a big old thing, them big balls of chocolate, and just start eating right in the middle of the whole podcast. Who does that? Other than it's mad disrespectful, you don't do it with all that crap because you got microphones right up under there. So it's picking up everything. I heard it before I really paid attention to it. But that's what crazy people do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't expect like him to Look at clean him. anything. But if he does, and I don't like the way he cleans it, like, I'm gonna be bitching. <laughs> why, Excuse me. Why don't you just go ahead and clean it if he don't do it right? You I do, do re-clean it. I do always it re-clean it. I she do. Just so aggressive. Okay, fair Pulling enough. Fair enough. And... Um, you asked all your questions, these or you uh, have more? Yeah, um, I, uh, yeah, I did. She said her fun fact was her just being toxic. Mm-hmm. That is right. I mean, she's not single. Been together mm-hmm. for three years. Any other toxic traits, or that's the only one? What would he say your tro- your toxic trait is? <laughs> I get angry fast. Okay. You know what? Let me position this a little bit better for you. Got you anger go. issues. I definitely get angry toxic. fast. Toxic. Zero to 100. Yeah. Okay. Gotta be my way. All right. Yeah. That's it, bro. And that's what y'all, uh, that's what you made. So you, you don't really have that much patience. It's crazy. He made, her boyfriend made her a stay-at-home mom when she has toxic, she's toxic, she says, and anger issues, and everything has to be done her way. You guys kill me, man. It's okay. No, I, don't. I got a question. Have. Do you hit him? <laughs> no. Wait, why you have to look at your friend? Why you have to look at your friend like this? Mel, don't be giving her nothing to say. Do you hit him? Keep it off Have you <laughs> ever put your hands on him? No. Well, in the three years. Yes. He used to hit me first. No, no, no. I swear to God. No, don't do that to me. No, he used to hit me first. But do you I hit him? Now? Yes. Yeah, no, hell yeah. Mm-mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so, and yeah. you, you hit first. No, here yeah, now? Because oh, you're not about to get wait. me first. I can't, I can't oh, be here. Okay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> can't wait. Okay. <laughs> Dang, all right, yeah, so you I swing can... him first. Yeah, and he's so big. You are toxic, okay. Right. Yeah, uh, big. No, no man should ever put Slap. their hands on a woman, so. Yeah, uh, Slap who? Slap me, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's good uh, for us. And also, uh, um, can you put your mic closer to you? Because so, we can't. Yeah, yeah so sure. everybody can hear you. That's yeah. Whenever so look at the speaking, body, man. You. Look at this body. Okay, on this you got any questions for the ladies? Or what? ladies, do y'all have any questions too? She just out of nowhere just started. <laughs> no, yeah. Easy, no, no, go first. Go ahead, Easy. <laughs> what is the worst experience you've had in dating? Whether it could be like in the talking stage or um, dating apps. Like, what is a bad experience you've had in dating that made you feel like, you know what? I, maybe I should just take a break from dating guys. Start with you. Okay, honestly, when I first turned 18, I dated this boy. He was very rich. Like, his family was, like, police, like, all this crazy stuff. And our relationship ended up being very toxic. I'm not going to lie. I really only dated him because he drove a black Range Rover, and that was my dream car. <laughs> but, oh my you God. know, like, then I started to get very toxic. Then we started, like, fist fighting each other. So you dated him only because he, he drove a, a black Range Rover? Honestly, I'm not going to lie. That's what got me. And then I'm like, okay, like, we could find out. You Pause, know? chat. <laughs> Y'all see what she just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love a black Hey, uh, chat, man, you work on yourself. You get nice things. Yeah. You're going to be able to get in between. I'm just messing with you. But I'm finish, not... go ahead. Yeah, what's your... But that's why a lot of these young girls get played out so easily. Because somebody show up, like I say, it's a rich guy, so he ain't even work for it. He just inherits some money, and the parents or whatever bought him this nice car, and y'all jump in it thinking he going to spend on you like that. Now, nah, he going to hit like that. And he'll drop a little bit, but you think he's doing a lot, but he's really not. But y'all got to stop being so airheaded, man. Every time somebody pull out something that's shiny, y'all do whatever. And then you wonder when you get a little older, Oh, y'all trying to manipulate the young girls' minds and all this. No. Because y'all like shiny shit. 
and y'all would jump on it and run on it. And no matter what, somebody pull out some out their pockets, y'all first headed toward it. Let's just be real. Not on us. Crazy story. But, so yeah, so then we would like fist fight and stuff. And then long story, story short, like his parents called the police. And then even though like it was crazy because he like choked me like with his arms around my neck and like his chest on my face, everything. But then I bit him because I'm like, my ears was ringing. I'm like, damn, I'm finna so but then the police came and then they ended up arresting me i went to jail and i'm like there's no way on wow, god, you went... god's green earth right now that this is my reality okay and and, soon, and you were really only with them because of the black range rover yeah and then it was also oh, crazy too we ended up also being in an open relationship except it was like not really an open relationship there was like a third it was like a thruple and the third person was a man and then i had to break that off because he was... hold up so you was in a thruple Thruple. Thruple. Yes, and the third person was a man, so he's bisexual. I think so. He denies it, but like you were definitely he like making out with that man and like yeah. sucking yeah, his tongue you know, down your throat. School, like you're definitely a little gay. No fights. side conversations, ladies. No, because she's farting again. <laughs> Wait, like, wow. silently <laughs> farting next to me. You I don't she's... even want to sit here because you keep doing this. I just don't even understand. Okay, she farted. Um, she farted again. <laughs> All right. And uh, it's yeah, can it you really please stinks. hold your gas? What's her name? You said he was gonna go to the bathroom. Genesis. Like it's really just. I want y'all to see something, man. As soon as she said that farted, I looked at this body, and all I can see is a bunch of flagellants gas all up in there, right there. All that just can't wait to get out. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as she said it, man, she just kind of sat back, start playing with her hair, but like her stomach just popped out, like, and you know she just ate that chocolate, right? So depending on what she had before that, and you eat some chocolate. You know, it's going to stir up some things in your stomach. But she's over there blasting this old oh, girl. <laughs> Ooh, look at that stomach, though. Good God. Disgusting at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm so Genesis, can you please hold your gas? Mm hmm. Oh. That's what you said last time. You are can, nasty can, for this. Uh, someone, Steve, well, you got Pepto Bismol for her? Maybe it give her smells a bad. Or a like, I don't even know what you ate for real. That's... Yeah, I don't smell anything I'm right now, but if I smell oh, anything. Who's the next to her? Who's the next to her? I'm Well, I don't smell nothing now, but yeah, dang. Uh, okay. Wait, was it again? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ain't no way, girl. So how long has she been popping off? There's in no there? girl code in here. We're ladies. Present yourself as one. All right. Okay. It's not very uh, demure. <laughs> not very do live. This is crazy, chat. <laughs> uh, Shorty in here farting. <laughs> this is wild. Uh, okay. Hey, and the thing is, she act like if like I don't give a f. She just playing in her hair and just whatever. It's like, I told you she looked dirty. This chick nasty, man. She probably don't even bathe on a regular and with that dirty raccoon hat on. It's probably just smell. She probably just smell. Let's just be real. Hey, middle of this. Okay. So but we never here, did have sex, though. Here's what we're going to do. Because uh, <laughs> the crazy yeah, story, that? but um, the other girl doesn't want to sit by her because she was farting. She can sit right here. She can sit here. right here. Yeah, um, yeah let, us sit, let us sit over here. Look at that. And I don't, I don't sure. Yeah, sure. We, we got. We'll switch your seat. A microphone or something. Yeah, that we got. Good. You smell that? That's in body work. That, that always comes in handy. Hey, one blast upset the whole dog on platform. One blast got people rearranging themselves, <laughs> moving mics. Can you imagine what that shit smell like? Like, whoo. Like, some weird crazy is coming out more and more with this chick. I got you. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Yeah, we live right now. Oh and they live. live. That's crazy. You know, Papa John's be extra cheesy. We do this live. Holy spirit. What you eating? Right, yeah. Smack. Is that fish? Look at her talking. Hey, Mike, Mike. <laughs> look, at, look at that stuff. It's about to happen uh, again. Hey, chat. We do a live. We got a stinky girl on the podcast. She ain't here farting, scaring the other girls. <laughs> this is wild. But uh, who recruited her? Ease, was this? <laughs> yeah, 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 I did. God I did. dang, Ease. What's going on with Ooh, you, man? Taking an L on this uh, one, It's all good, boy. man. We do a live. All right. Um, chat. <laughs> 
Sorry about that. Okay, ladies. All right, so you were telling your crazy story. The conclusion of your story was that you were with the with one man. He brought in another man. He was real gay for that other man. So that's why you kind of broke up with him. Mm-hmm. That's good. No, Got but you. then we I ended up going to jail though from that same man because we were fighting. Okay, so you went so to jail because you like, bit him, right? Yeah, but he choked me first. So I don't really feel wrong for that. I'm not gonna lie. Got you. Okay. Why are you? Uh, why didn't the cops arrest him? Mm-hmm. Because. It's crazy because we were in the smallest town and then the state troopers showed up and his uncle was the state trooper oh, and that yes. was the cop that arrested me and brought me through. You know, like this happened to me right off the wake up. They didn't even let me put on pants. Like I stood in front of the judge in no pants. Like it was crazy. No panties either? Yeah. No, I had, on, I had on a little underwear situation but and a little big t-shirt, but no pants. No nothing. Just vibes. <laughs> But, just vibes. Yeah. Just vibes. Just, just vibes. vibes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, I look see. At, look um, all right, let's go with you. Uh, Genesis, what about you? Craziest dating experience? Well, the greatest dating experience I've ever had is uh, when cr- I was crazy. inside the church. Like, like, like the bad one. Like a crazy Can you let me finish? I was inside of a Methodist church, and this niglet took his shirt off. And basically, in the middle of the temple, the temple is where I had sex. What the world? I don't think Nicholas is a word you should be using, ma'am. Did she? Now, the Holy Roller is saying she just had sex in the chapel? What kind of religious. Freak is this. I mean, it's coming off real weird now. Like, I don't know. Let's wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's stop, stop, stop. All right, so you had sex with a man in church, and you claim that you are a holy woman? That's exactly what I said. The Methodist church. By the way, Harriet Tubman. Wait, did Tubman you write was, this down? Yeah, I wrote it down. Oh, is that your, like, your little note, your little journal? Oh, absolutely. She came with yeah, notes. Yeah. craziest things? Were you traumatized from this experience? Was I traumatized? No, I was not traumatized. I actually learned how to have peace in Christ. From that sexual experience in church? Basically. Do you know what a Methodist is and a Baptist is? Do you know what a, what a Reformed Puritan is? Do you know what, what it's like? Really? You Are you a Reformed Puritan? That's exactly what I am. When when did you become Reformed? Yes, sir. After you had sex or before you had sex yes, in the sir. church? Yes, sir. Crazy alert. Crazy alert. So we're dealing with intimacy, huh? Let me tell you something. Affection, that's a really, really personal issue for me. Okay? It's coming. It's coming. So I'm not going to sit here in the middle of this stupid YouTube live platform okay. and expose who I'm having intimacy Spin with. We didn't ask you to do that. Oh, you I swear. already did. Please, you just said you please. let someone clap cheeks in the church. You just said Sincere Cruz was clapping cheeks and didn't want to marry you. You've exposed all this stuff, all this stuff yourself. What are you talking about? Historically, I'm talking about me having intimacy in the inner most holy of holies. So at the end of the day, what you see is Moses, and he's somehow connected to Jethro and Aaron, okay? Wait, what? So what? what does this have to do with anything? What are you talking about? Do this, you really want to have this question. argument right now? It's not an argument. I'm asking you a question. Go so ahead. Go I ask you a question. You said that you are a reformed whore, meaning that you don't have sex anymore like that. I'm asking you, when did you become a reformed whore? After or before you got your cheeks clapped in church? I'm going to say after. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay. So Honestly, after you got your cheeks clapped in church, is that when you started the relationship with Sincere or before? No, actually, it was before I was with S.A.U., the Sasquatch. <laughs> it's a Sasquatch. Hey, I don't know what that is. So you don't know who S.A.U. is? Mm. S.A.U. I know. I'm from Jersey. That's what we do. Su-hoo. That's uh, about all I know. <laughs> your turn to talk. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's your crazy story. Someone clapped cheeks in the church. A cha- you know what's funny is she brought a book full of notes. And she's trying to use these notes to follow up like their questions. That's why nothing sounds like, what are you talking about? Nothing she's talking about matches up to what Cooley and, uh, and, and Ease are asking her. But she'll throw a Bible verse. She flipped that page. That had me dying laughing. 
when she flipped that page and went on. She was about to say something about Harriet Tubman, but he cut her off. So I was like, I want to hear that one. Let's get back to the crazy. I, we do it live. I don't know where this creature came from, but <laughs> y'all getting it today. <laughs> yes, sir. This is not made up. This is literally. <laughs> Quite literally. She came in a studio like this with this book with oh, that head really? on and them glasses. Listen to This her. isn't planned, bro. Um, let's move it on to you, Jasmine. Okay. Craziest dating, uh, experience. dating experience. Um, like you gotta elaborate. Like. Somebody I was with or somebody I just like Either was or. talking to. Talking. Tell me what's your craziest. <laughs> Tell me what's crazy. All right. Um, matter of fact, I could. Um, before I got with the guy I'm with now, um, I was with some a guy, and I tried to like, cause at the beginning I was dating two men. I was trying to figure out. No, you, wait. They you were dating two men, and did they know about one another? Oh yeah, I was totally honest. They no. both knew. Oh, and they accepted that. Like they were like, yeah, that's my no. girl. No, I didn't claim. No, none of us claimed each other. Oh, no one claimed each other. No, Meaning no, no. that you were in a dating stage. I was just thinking and... of like dating. I was like, um, <laughs> ma'am, it's okay. See, touch. <laughs> no yeah. touching. Hey, uh, Genesis. Please smack no, me. No Please. touching. No guess. Why would I? I don't hit females. Yeah, Genesis. No touching. Nobody. Please. <laughs> See, Please don't put your hands on the guests, or we gotta remove you off the podcast. <laughs> I'm very zimmer today. Don't do that. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, wow. um. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 pretty that crazy. crazy. That is um, crazy. Everyone that's tuned in on Facebook, we are currently live. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and close down the Facebook stream now. Everyone, Hallelujah. come on over to YouTube. Um, it's gonna get more crazy close. on this podcast. We got Genesis. She got the the cat thing on her head. Um, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. So come on. It ain't it's safe sweating. for Facebook. <laughs> Please come on over to YouTube. That's No Fugazi Podcast yeah. on YouTube. Come on over now. Yeah, closing out the Facebook stream. I down. like being warm year round, okay? I was born in California where it's warm year round. I like my sackcloth at the end of the day. I have, I have way the crazy thing, no one is talking to this chick. She's literally over there in her own head talking. That's the crazy thing about all this. Like, no one is asking you. She's just crazy. Anyway, I have to say something. You told me you was born in Ecuador. No, I was born and you raised you in California. My parents are Guatemalan. You told me you was an immigrant. Remember? We had this conversation. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, any conversations <laughs> I had off camera, let's just keep it off camera. She says she's from Cali, so let's just... Right. Let's just don't don't make her no crazier than that. what she is, um, man. Thank you, detective. I didn't know, but I guess you knew something I didn't know. Anyway. All right. Uh... Look at that. She Let's eat get again, uh, ladies. Man. Do y'all have any questions? Hi. <laughs> okay, you have a question? No, not yet. <laughs> I mean, you can get to your question now because soon as we got time. I'm going to go ahead and ask it. Has anyone noticed she wearing one glove? Like, why are you wearing this black glove? She just has on one glove and she keep putting candy in it and offering it to these girls and nobody wants it. I mean, I'm like, where do you keep pulling this candy from? Go ahead. No, I don't think I should. That's Listen to all the noise. Yeah. Ask the question. No, go Hi. ahead and ask your question. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Ask the question. Okay, I have a question because <laughs> it goes oh, wait, wait, it real quick. Um no eating on a on a podcast. Where did you get all this candy from? What the heck? She pulling out snacks <laughs> out of her butt? <laughs> snacks out of that head? She pulling the out snacks out of everywhere. Ooh. Dang, the, the snack pockets. monster. What you, a cookie monster over there? <laughs> she got all the snacks. Shorty pulled out a snack from her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> man, we should zoom in on them Jordans. I think some snacks came out oh, of there. <laughs> <laughs> them Jordans leaning, y'all. <laughs> Wait, stop on nah, that. He... I'm putting the camera on the Jordans. I Come wouldn't up. mess with it because she already look crazy. Jordans, I have to look at mine like it's my shirt. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they worn out. Uh, yeah, they worn out. They... It's like, hey, we do it live. We do it live, Jack. I'll be honest, I wouldn't be saying anything to this chick because I could just see she's about to flip out. She's about to flip out. I just don't know when and where, but it's about to happen. And this chick, I would be worried, man. She don't have something pull out of her in her bags back there or something and shoot her way up out of there or something. I don't know. But... Who know? I wouldn't play around with her. I really wouldn't. All right, let me stop wowing. But anyways, um, <laughs> go ahead and ask your question. Can I direct it to a person? 
Yeah, yeah. You could, like, it no. could be in general. Okay. Be whatever, yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want, Jasmine. Pick the floor. Yeah, you can do whatever you I want. Know. Go ahead. It's only, it's, it was a question for her. Because I felt like you was like trying to hit on her. What's your name again? My name is Ellie. Okay, yeah, you were trying to hit on uh, can Ellie. Can you just speak in the mic this way? Yeah. I feel like you were like trying to hit on Ellie. And I don't know if I heard it right. You was asking for a kiss in the hallway. I don't know if, it, if I was bugging. I could be. Like, yeah, I'd be hearing shit, you know? So, I w I'm, what I'm <laughs> trying to ask, because I did hear that you be getting your cheek slapped, too. So, I want to know, are you, like, both ways? Look how she looking I, at First her. of all, I want to correct you, because I told her directly, Ellie, that mm -hmm. I wanted to kiss her forehead and not her lips. Very yeah, but that's strange. that's strange. Who asked that? She just met me. They're questions at the end of the day. And I said, yeah, but that's why I'm asking. Like, do you go both ways? She's like, she want to punch her. That's probably why she got that glove on. It's just like a small question. You just yeah. She look she's looking. Watch y'all to see this real quick. Wait a minute. Watch how she's looking at these girls, man. And maybe that's why she got that glove on, so she's ready to fight. And at the end of the day. And I said, that. yeah, but that's why I'm asking. Like, do you go both ways? Look at her. Look at her. It's just like a small question. You just, yes, Are no. you bisexual? Cause I used to be bisexual. Hmm? Okay. But do you okay. still find women attractive? Of course I find women attractive. There's a bunch of pussy in the room. Why wouldn't Whoa. I? Lord. Okay. Now, do you think that's a Vagina. holy thing? Do you think that being bisexual is in the Bible? Don't you understand that that's sodomy? That's of the devil and Actually, not of God? Actually... Leviticus chapter 18 talks a lot about intimacy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 18, it's a chapter. Okay? You're saying so, that sodomy is a good thing? Right. Why don't you look it up? Leviticus 18, it says that it's the I, same thing as I, sleeping with an animal. So if you're gay and you're sleeping with same. an animal, God is going to what? He's going to hate it. Exactly. So this attraction that you have for women, you're on the podcast. I guess he's invited her here. <laughs> you're you're asking other women to kiss you on the forehead. Look, yeah, homosexuality is the same and equivalent yeah. as bestiality. So why would I like that? But you, you, you're saying that you used to like it and you still have an attraction for women. This so obviously crazy, you still man. desire it. You the one with the notepad with all the Bible verses, so I'm just asking you. <laughs> Seems ask, like you're contradicting yourself. Ask Remember, you this said young that lady here. you ask said her. that you are a reformed whore. Look like you still got them them desires to be whoring around right, and right. indulging in some sodomy. If it is true, hey, do what you want. It's no fugazi. Keep it funky, but don't contradict yourself, baby girl. Yeah, she definitely want old girl across the You're the hypocrite her. now. Got it. Let her explain. How am I a hypocrite? What does she have to do with it? It's her, not her. Yeah. Hey, hey, Whoa, there, hey, it, there hey, it is. Hey, I told you. Hey, I told you. Hey, it was just a matter of time. She couldn't hold it. She couldn't hold it. I told you. Get her up out of here, though. Woo. No, 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 no. Get her up out of here. Get out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> what that? Yeah, you can Oh my God. Oh. Hey, you do this talking to camera? Oh, oh no. e, you taking an L for this one, boy. Oh, man. Steve, make sure she all the way out, bro. Yeah, make sure she okay. all the way out, man. She knocking stuff over, knocked over the mic. Uh, adjust Is this camera. Is banging on the door? The main camera? That whole thing, like... And put the light over, fix the light. Oh, my God. I told you, you it was a matter of time of something was yeah, going to come. I saw it, man. I, I could just feel this chick building up. Is she, did you lock the door? Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. out of here, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that shit crazy. Hey, uh, chat, we do a live and easy. Yeah, bro, you can't invite Jones like that on the podcast, bro. I didn't know she was like, yeah, my first nigga, time meeting her today. Nigga, ease, that is a L, my nigga. It was my first time meeting her today. I know she going to be like that. You said you invited her on purpose, so what was the purpose? Because she said she thinks that she's going to escape. She she doesn't think that she's going to um, experience death. She thinks God's going to come down and bring her to heaven. She's just not going to experience death. I'm like, oh, so crazy. you know she was already on that godly stuff. Yeah, yeah I did. Crazy. I did. I definitely did. This was his first time meeting her, though. No, it was did. my first time meeting her. Yeah, yeah. Though. I don't think he expected this. I didn't, yeah. Thank did you, you actually? I, 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 no, this? I did not. On, 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 on Wilson, no, I did not. I did not. I did yeah. think she was a little off. <laughs> but I think she was going to do this. Cause I don't yeah, know, yeah. girl. Like, she hit me up. <laughs> no. <laughs> she hit you up. Talk about that story. She hit you up. Okay. Explain. All right. All right. So um, she added me on Facebook. And then um, and then we, and, um, we, we started messaging or whatever. And then I'm like, 
yo, I'm like, yo, look, I don't. So she was trying to holler at you. Right, 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 right. Oh, okay, okay. oh so he's gonna so smash this. this. I'm like, yo, look, I don't, I don't like the way you dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if we gonna hang out, I said, if we gonna hang out, you gonna oh, have just so like you a girl. Smash. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like, I don't like this, oh, this tomboy e. stuff. You oh, know what I'm saying? Man. And um, so you was finna give her a little chance. Yeah, she, 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 on, on her Facebook, she has pictures of her. Like, oh. On her Facebook, you saying that she was right? I need right? to see. I need to see. On her Facebook, she has pictures of her in a bikini, bro. Like, bro, you lost so many cool points on that one. No, because I think you need to show everybody. I blocked her. I just took off. No, don't lie now. Yeah. No, I really yeah. did block her. Like I blocked her. No, we need to see. This is the. This is one of these dudes now. That uh, you know how you'll find out like some girl that's really unattractive, body ain't whatever, and then she just come up pregnant. Everybody like who 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 got this chick pregnant? And everybody trying to figure out. And then one day when she, when she had this baby, she go to talking. It was your boy. It was one of your boys sneaking in and hitting it late at night. Now he got a baby by her. That going to be, he was creeping to get this chick and got exposed, basically. Bro, you was going after that. I don't see nothing, nothing on her that could say, yeah, I want to hit that. Nothing. Got the swollen belly, looking crazy. I don't, he to my in a bikini. She must have show him some pics from like three years ago or something because, bro, as soon as, like he said, you should have FaceTimed that shit, man. I don't care. Well, then let us know the Facebook name at the end. Uh, it's, it's, I got you. But no, yeah. no, 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 I'm going to find out. out. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to get dolled up. She, you know what I mean? She, has, she got on Facebook. She has oh, a picture she got on her bikini. <laughs> on, on, a, on a Facebook. <laughs> she, got, she got herself in a bikini. Matter of fact, who's that? Did I show you? It was a, a Mel. Could have been and You ain't show Mel. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> But no, and I was like, yo, look, like, and she was just talking about, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get dog that we're gonna hang out. Yeah. And whatever. I said, all right, just don't dress like that. That's not what I like. You know what I'm saying? So she said, all right. <laughs> but, we, but we didn't end up hanging out because, you know what I mean? Like, she ended up going somewhere. And then I, and then, um, oh, I was so like, he no, really yo, you're just coming to the podcast. You can meet me there. We could, you could talk about God and all this other stuff you wanna talk about. She said, cool. Okay, so that's the only thing you knew, like, she was like, that's the religious. Whole, yeah, that's all like I that. knew because when we spoke, all she talked about was God the oh, entire okay. time. And right, she talked about, right. oh, I wanna get married and I'm saving myself. I'm not gonna have sex until I so, get married. So, and what? my thing is, if she hadn't freaked out, would you have still hooked up with her? And she telling you she's not going to give up anything. She, <clears throat> she just holy rolled her. What were you planning on doing with her? That's my thing. So, I don't know, E. I think you kind of lying a little bit, bro. I think you lying. I think, I don't know if you, you might have already hit it. <laughs> what would have happened if you would have actually went out on a, on a date with her, bro? That what you just <laughs> saw? Like, that's probably what would have happened because I never. Nigga, I taught you about Facetime. You Facetime with the shorty. She doesn't, so have, you... yo, she, she doesn't have a phone. She doesn't have a job. Oh, she a red flag. <laughs> Wait, no, no, she I know she didn't have a phone because she was upset yeah. about I don't know, her phone. Everywhere. She has an Android. Yeah, but no, that's not what she told me. She told me like she doesn't have a home. She doesn't have a cell phone. She called me. Do she got a home? Yes, yeah, right. she's homeless. So look, look, she doesn't have a <laughs> she doesn't have a cell phone. I think that's about her mom's. She doesn't have a job. Um, she's oh she's on probation for theft. Bruh. And you let her and you like the this girl? Did I didn't say I, didn't say I liked her. He's... No, you said no. you were willing to like get to know her. Oh, yes, I was bro, smash. you was going to smash. You can't smash every picture. You know what? That should be a conversation. You cannot yeah. smash every picture. Yeah. Yeah. Is it yeah. the right one? I see a picture of her in the bikini. But that's picture. definitely a conversation we need to have because you cannot smash everything. Not everything is smashable. Bro, I didn't yo. smash it. You wanted to, though. A little no, bit. I saw the bikini. Yeah, a little bit. Yo, y'all see the bikini you picture. You saw the bikini. It don't matter. You was... He don't even care about what Yo, was in it. Let's get it right on, bro. bro. You lost so wow. many points on that one. So They're many. definitely coming at you with the comments. I hope they are. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to hear those comments. Yo, yeah. 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 I want to hear those comments. Yeah. Yo, let's move it on. Hey. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it on this, man. I had y'all hear that them get on ease about. Bruh. You was gonna really get with that. She really only thing she lived back with her mom, but no car, no job, no phone. She got a record of stealing. She crazy. I don't know what you know. She was a crazy holy roller. I I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. And you still was willing to hook up. I mean, is is it that hard for you right now? 
you know, a lot of these guys be trying to play it like they got it like that, but you can't have it like that, and you got all these red flags, and she has a million red flags, and you still trying to get it. You see what I'm saying? So your game is weak, man. Your game got to be weak if you were chasing after that. You, boy, good gracious. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about the crazy Christian. Um, and E, would y'all had taken a chance on a chick like this? The fart monster. That's what we're going to call her. Would y'all had taken a chance on the fart monster? Well, y'all hit me in the comments. Y'all let me know. Of course, it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Stay away for the stanky, holy rollers. And I'm up out of here. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Woo, boy, boy, boy.